Thank you, Speaker. Recently, I was invited to St Paul's Primary School in Mildura. Grade five and six are currently studying civics and citizenship and asked me to come in so they could grill me with questions, which they did. Some great questions were asked and we had a terrific time. Thank you to Mr Tom Pike for the invitation and St Paul's Primary Grade five and six for having me. I also recently visited St Mary's School Robinvale for their Mother's Day celebration. The teachers and students put on a wonderful morning of performances, song and activities as well as donuts for morning tea. Again, thank you for the invitation, St Mary's Robinvale, and good luck with the ongoing construction. Last Friday and Saturday, I attended the Mildura Field Days at the Mildura Race Course, a terrific couple of days showcasing our dried fruit and horticulture industry in the Sunraysia region. I was thrilled to use green hydrogen in the H2 Cuts truck, which uses green hydrogen to power a mobile hair salon. I'm so excited for the opportunities that exist in the Sunraysia region for the production of green hydrogen and was thrilled to use it. Well done to the Field Days Committee and the Mildura Racing Club for getting the venue in top condition for the event. Speaker, last week I spoke about two-year-old Octavia in this place and her struggle to get the surgery she needs to alleviate her food aversion and severe obstructive sleep apnea. On sun Saturday at the field days, I got a visit from Octavia, her mum Megan, dad Josh and little sister Elizabeth and I'm thrilled to report now that Mildura's local children's charity, Children Having an Illness Living in Sunraysia, or Chalice, as it's affectionately known locally, have come to the rescue with the funds needed for Octavia to have Remember her for operation. Geelong.